The Bible say in uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. The reason why Paul told Timothy to study. Study means to meditate. Meditate on the word of God because it's important to study. If you don't study, you won't know Satan. If you won't study, you won't be living in the flesh rather than living in the spirit. If you don't study, my friend, you'll be secular rather than being glory to God safe. My friend, studying the word of God is very important. It's like drinking water to live. It's like taking the breath of God to live. It's like having the blood in your body to live. Studying the word of God, my friend, is like people going every day reading a newspaper. It's like every day, hallelujah, have your cell phone in your hand knowing that with a cell phone, people are handicapped. My friend, studying is very important. Let me, let me say this, my friend. A person that does not study the word of God is a person, a glory to God, that give with a trumpet. Hallelujah. A person, a glory to God, that don't study is a person that, that does not know the truth. Hey, glory to come on now. A person that don't study is a person that know that God is terrible. A person that don't study, knowing that going to God, coming this way, is a trial and tribulation. Hallelujah. Studying the word of God, hallelujah, is like medicine to your bone, medicine to your soul. Because if you don't study, you become an ignorant person. You become an ignorant Christian. You become a Christian that is ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power to them that believe. So when Paul, he glory to God, say, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. I'm not ashamed, glory to God, to witness about my soul salvation. I'm not ashamed to tell somebody that I'm saved. I'm not ashamed to tell somebody that I'm sanctified. I'm not ashamed to tell somebody that I'm separated, hallelujah, from this world. Why people does not study the word of God because they're afraid, my friend. They are ashamed, hey, go to God to be changed. When you are ashamed to be changed, you stay the same. What I say? When you are Hear me very carefully now because we live in a world where people does not study the word of God. When you don't study the word of God, you stay the same. You've been saved, but you're still the same. Hey, glory to God, you've been 20 years in church and you're still smoking. 20 years in church and you're still drinking, getting drunk. 20 years in church and you're still having fornication. 20 years in church and you're still committing adultery. Why? Because you're not studying the word of God. When you study the word of God, you're not ashamed, my friend. You can tell so if somebody asks a question about a scripture, you won't be ashamed to use your opinion. What I say? When somebody asks you a question about studying the word of God, hallelujah. Glory to somebody asks a question, what it mean by the wages of sin is death? Hallelujah. You break down the word wages. What well, wages mean? If you pay, if you if you're working, hallelujah. Hey going in flesh, in sin, you're gonna die. That what it mean? Wages of sin is death. If you keep on working on flesh, if you keep on sexing, you won't catch STD. That what it mean, my friend. You can't you can't sugarcoat the word of God. You can't use your opinion. You can't be opinionated with your with your meaning. You gotta you gotta the Bible says line upon line, precept upon precept. Here's a letter and there's a letter. So we got to line up the word of God with the word of God. We can't be opinionated. Paul, hallelujah, Elijah, hey, go, not Elijah Muhammad now, Elijah, the prophet Elijah said, how long are T between two opinions? If the Lord be God, serve him. And the Bible say, the people answer him, not a word. So I come to tell somebody why people does not study the word of God. They don't want to be changed. What I say? They don't want to be changed. They don't want to, they don't want to have a, 
a, a new character. Hallelujah. They want to stay the same. Hey, go. They want to what? The, what? They want my friend. Go, they want to, to be be changed because change come from when you start studying, when you start pulling pulling off or putting on. Oh, glory to God! You pull off the the your, the world and put on the word. Hey, glory to God, my friend. The Bible is a mirror. Each time you look in the mirror, it shows you the reflection that you are a sinner. You need to be saved. The Bible is a hammer. It breaks apart you and go to get and get the spirit working on the inside. The word of God is like fire shut up in your bone. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. What, what does Zika say? Zika say, I want to be quiet, but I couldn't contain myself because the word of God is like fire shut up in my bones. Oh, glory to God. Zika. God asked Ezekiel, glory to God, can these bones live? And, his, and his, Ezekiel say, Lord, you know it. And the Bible say, preach the word. And when he start preaching the word of God, my friend, the bones start living. I'm telling somebody, if you want to live right, you got to study the word of God. If you want to stay the same, you don't study the word of God. If you want to be just a church goer, you don't read the word of God. If you want to be a fan, you don't read the word of God. But if you're a follower of the word of God, my friend, you got to study to show thyself approved unto God. Now, unto God means you don't prove man. You don't prove nothing to man. You don't prove that to war, man. You prove to God. When you prove to God, you won't go wrong. What I say? When you prove to God, you won't go wrong. Cause a lot of people, the Bible says you can't be men. Paul said, if I pre if I please men, I'm the, I can't be a servant of Christ. So a lot of people. Hallelujah. They pleasing man. Hallelujah. They yes man. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, my friend. Hallelujah. What I say? When you, when you please man, you become a yes man. Hey, glory to God. When you're a yes man, you can be a servant of God. What I say? If you are a yes man, you can be a servant of God. Anytime you're a yes man, you receive bribery. And you become a yes man, people can, you can be bored. Hallelujah. How you be bored? The Bible says, my friend, woe to you when men speak well of you, but so did their fathers to the false prophet. So if you're going to be a prophet, you got to be a you got to be a prophet for God, not a P-R-O-F-I-T. You are P-R-O-P-H-E-T. See the difference between P-R-O-F-I-T and P-R-O-P-H-E-T. One is for money and one is for the word of God. But when you don't study, when you don't study, my friend, you give your arms because you want men to praise you. When you don't study the word of God, you, you, you showing the trumpet, you blowing the trumpet. Like these people do videos. If you want to give a homeless something, my friend, hallelujah, uh, clicks by the creator is better than clicks by fans that see how, 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 how generous you are. It's not about clicks, my friend. It's about the, it's about the savior, the, the, the creator, give you a blessing from above. So when you study the word of God, you know these things. You know in the book of St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Read it, my friend. The Bible says, don't do your arms before men. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why? Because God's in secret. What I say? The Bible says in Matthew, the sixth chapter, don't give your arms toward men. Don't, what is it trying to say? Don't give, don't give to be a giver and want men to praise you. If you are if you are a reader of the word of God and a study of the word of God, the Bible says, my friend, don't be like a hypocrite. Now, Matthew, the 23rd chapter, is a book of a tale about hypocrites in the church. What well, I say? Hypocrites are in the church. Hypocrites in your home. Hypocrites on your job. Hypocrites go to baseball game. Hypocrites go to stadium, my friend. But if you don't study the word of God, my friend, you won't know that hypocrites is everywhere. So people can't use the ex excuse by saying, the reason why I don't go to church, because there are hypocrites in the church. Hypocrites are everywhere. But when you don't study the word of God, you get a lame excuse by saying the reason why you don't go to church because hypocrites is in the church. My friend, hypocrites everywhere. But when you don't study how to show us have approved unto God, you become a hypocrite and don't even know it. You become a lukewarm saint 
Christian and you don't even know it. And at the end, God gonna reject you. Why? Because you don't study the word of God. My friend, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that need to be shamed rightly, dividing the word of truth. My friend, we gotta study the word of God. Okay, if you don't study the word of God, my friend, the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Knowledge come by you fearing God and understanding come by you departing from evil. But if you never study the word of God, how do you know how to fear God? You gotta study. Excuse me. You gotta study what? Study the word of God. The word of God is the Bible. The word of God is the mouthpiece of God. The Bible says, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God's mouth is every time we open the Bible. What I say? God's mouth is every time we meditate in it day and night, be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you got to study Study, study means glory to God. You be able to, to look at the word of God and God will break it down for you. God will speak for you. God don't, you don't use your, 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 your interpretation. The Bible says, my friend, the Bible is not a private interpretation. It ain't private, my friend. The word of God said it, hallelujah, and that's settled it. It might hurt, but it help. It might hurt. But it heal, it might hurt my friend, but you can hear the truth because God is holy and God expect us to be holy. But if you never study the word of God, my friend, how God want us to live. You can't live any kind of way. You must live according to God's standard of living. God's standard of living is not according to man. It's according to God. Hallelujah. They say, come as you are. They know scripture in the Bible say, come as you are. The Bible say, dress as becoming saint. But if you never study the word of God, my friend, how do you know what the Bible say about how to dress in the house of God? How to conduct yourself in the house of God? It's all in the Bible. Hallelujah. Paul told Timothy, amen. The women are not to adore themselves in costly or rare. They're not to wear jewelry. Hey, glory to come on now. Paul say it's it's a shame for man to have long hair. Everybody want to have locks. And the Bible say it's a shame for man to have a long. You're not no Nazarite. Hey, Amen. You not you didn't have a vow not to cut your hair. Hey, glory to God. And woman and Bible say woman are not to uh, uh, have their hair braided, braided hair. Hey, come on now. But if you never study the word of God, you follow the world. W-O-R-L-D, -O rather than studying the W-O-R-D, my friend. It's a difference. We got to know the difference between the world and the word. The world say, hallelujah, it's all right. God forgive you. But the word say, repent, hallelujah, or as likewise, you're going to perish. My friend, it's time to study the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What I say, it's time to study the Bible. It's time to study hey, glory to the scripture, the Holy Scripture, which is to save you. Oh, glory to God. Amen. It's time to study. If you don't study, my friend, you cannot live like how God wants you to live. The Bible say, my friend, don't labor for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life. I thank God for the word of God. The word of God make me who I am. The word of God will make you have a beautiful attitude. As it say in Mark the fifth chapter, he goes to God. My friend, it's time to study the word of God.